Well, Leon, seven suspicious fires in rapid succession have people in Laurel on edge and authorities hard at work tonight. Now, these fires, including several at playgrounds, inflicted some $600,000 in damage in and around Laurel, and investigators are now appealing to the public for help with this. Stephen Cheetah is on it for us tonight. He's in Laurel. Stephen? Allison, this arsonist or these arsonists are bold and brazing. On the afternoon of the 22nd of March, someone started a fire here at this playground. Fewer than 24 hours later, about noon the next day, someone apparently set a fire here at this restaurant in the doorway. All but one of the seven fires in and around Laurel came last month. So many fires in so few days have people in Laurel worried. They're both scooters, though. Literally, you know, down the street from our house, so, you know, it does concern us. The fires started at playgrounds, in and around office buildings, stores, even a restaurant during the lunch hour rush. But why? Just scare people away or just for fun, I think. They're doing for fun. Otherwise, I don't understand this. Remember that this is an active criminal investigation. Prince George's said. authorities teamed up with Laurel Police in hopes of finding who's responsible before they strike again. They believe their best chance of catching whoever is setting the fires is with the public's help. If you see something, say something. Pick up the phone and call no matter how minor it may be. Investigators say all but two of the fires clearly are arson. The remaining are suspicious. Damage for the fires is scattered all across Laurel, but so far no one has been injured. Luckily nobody was hurt, but hopefully they find whoever did it very fast. Authorities won't reveal many details, but they do acknowledge there are enough similarities between all of these fires to suggest that the same individual or individuals are connected. Reporting live, Stephen Cheetah, ABC 7 News.